Welcome back to Action Gaming. Today we are playing some Metal Gear Solid 5. Once again, do not play the online portion of this game. It blows, as shown in my last Metal Gear video. Last Metal Gear Online video, too, might I add. Anyway, I'm usually either Snake or Ravaging Mongoose, but I'm gonna be this other guy just to mix things up. Apparently, he's supposed to be a really good combat specialist, so why the heck not? Anyway. Going on. Big news here. Um, got my capture card. HD 60. Oh, got to. And it's not quite what I expected. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of things you have to choose. You have to look up to your laptop and all that jazz. And trying to figure that out at the moment and it's kind of ridiculous because it's just for voice chat I'm not sure if I can figure it out I'm probably going to sell it because it's it's pretty rough it's pretty rough and I will admit that but um we like to do the um uh pass it out sort of way you know to go to this place and ignore that you know, be a regular guy, have generic weapons with no attachments on them, very basic, close to seeing like an AR or like a 1911 I could find and make it. No attachments, maybe the best in their class though, because it's America. And we're going out here, and we're seeing if we can bring down a whole fortress with one guy with just these weapons. You know, trying to use stealth for the majority, obviously. But anyway, this is one of the hardest fortresses in Afghanistan on this map. There's Afghanistan, then there's Africa, and then there's Mother Base. This is Afghanistan. Hard map, tell you what. Her hard base. Um, might I add, I haven't played this game in a while. And it is on a harder difficulty, just because I like to challenge myself. Maybe I should put it down, though, because... Lately, I've been having the best luck on this game, to be completely honest with you, but I don't know if I want to be that guy that goes down a level. You know what I'm saying? Enemy presence detected. We're not that bad. We're not that bad. Hopefully. That's what I'm trying to trying to say here. But, um... Oh, boy. So far, okay, that guy looks pretty... Good. That that was that's the guy right there we need to get. He's a specialist. We're only, not only are we gonna extract the man, but we're gonna kill every single person in this compound. Cause we're legends. And it so happens that there are a decent amount of freaking people in this compound, as I'm beginning to notice. And that's why it's one of the hardest ones. Especially during the day, because, you know, the sun just fills up this little whole gorge thing, and it just gets very, very, very bad. So you may be wondering, how am I going to take on all these guys here? And, well, that's a good question. I don't know yet. Well, obviously I have to start picking them off one by one, because I can't just start going AWOL and shooting everybody with a freaking non-suppressed weapon. Because then I'm just bound for destruction. They have mortar and all that jazz. They got snipers. It's it's a pretty rough map. So it's pretty much um, I'm bound to get noticed and caught at some point. Just kind of see how far I can get. Being how hard this map is anymore. Analysis. Oh, that guy's pretty good. I'll take him with me also. This guy's already like starting to see me, and he's the first guy I'm approaching. Like, holy crap. Oh boy. Oh boy. Then I didn't suppress him quick enough, so just like that, I got freaking caught. You know, it's never easy. It never is easy. It's always hard. Okay, the fact that I couldn't suppress him with any weapons from a distance or anything, and I had to grab him, and if I was like half a second sooner, I would have got him. 
This is just ridiculous. They know where I'm at. I'm pinned down. I have horrible weapons. None are long ranged. And they're probably going to start launching mortar soon. This is freaking great. It's never freaking easy. I'm, I guarantee that crap. But, you know, it, no, it, it is easy, but if you use weapons like this, then it's really hard. Since I can't see a freaking thing, I'm dying here. kind of want that flare back on, but I kind of don't. I think they can throw grenades at me. Oh, boy, don't hit me. I'm good. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. It was kind of on the rock wall there, and I was right against it. So it wasn't too bad of an explosion, but it was still pretty bad. What else we got here? Wow, I'm really taking a hit. Wow, I'm really taking a beating. No, sir. When it gets really red like that, it's it's pretty clear that, you know, yeah, I'm about to die. Yeah. It's these, fr these freaking Russians here think that they can see me in two seconds, and the fact that that guy saw me and yelped something for half a second. The whole compound was alerted and knew that I was here. And now I'm in a freaking gunfight for my life here, pinned down. At least you're not coming in from behind me, because that'd be pretty rough. The point in which I'm forced to use a bunch of grenades right now. All right, he's bleeding out. He's not going to be getting up. I don't want to kill this guy, because he's very good. Throw a dank meme smoke grenade here. Kill that. Kill him. Ooh, we made a good run, but sorry, bro. I'm taking you with me. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna ask you something, maybe. I might. Maybe not. We'll see. Okay, well, I know where he's already at. I already pointed him out, so thank you very much for your aids. But, um... There's one guy down, for sure. <clears throat> and I'm taking him with me right here, right now. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. And we're gonna try to get everybody else here, too, while we're at it. Starting with those two characters over there. But once again, it's very hard at the moment due to all the enemies going on, so this is an all-out of war, which we may not be able to get out of, because like I said, this is the hardest base area map on the Afghanistan portion of the game. Extremely difficult. It's just a surrounded gorge. There's only one way in, and reinforcements do come through there if the radios are still up, so that makes it difficult. I don't know if it's still up or not, it's hard to say, but... I have two marked men I want to pull out of here. And there may be more. But, holy crap! They got their freaking machine guns over there. I'm gonna try to sneak around real quick. And we may actually get the jump on this guy, who still thinks I'm over there. He spotted new threats and perhaps a new an enemy truck has indeed rolled in. Oh, dude, come on. Very good enough. Are you? So anyway, tip number one is do not shoot a barrel in front of you, no matter how much you want to or something. Because I didn't, he didn't shoot that, I did, so that makes me look bad. I'm at the point at which I just killed this man out here. With a non silenced weapon, so everybody heard it. Because I'm just fed up at this point. It's going to take way too long to re-stealth my way in, and we all know how easy that is to do on this map. Oh wait, it's not easy. Not even close to being easy. Ever. So... Kind of just setting up a distraction helped out with my shots to that man, so I may crawl around and get around everybody to the people that I wish to Fulton out of the area. Analysis complete. So you just got to think about this game of all the ways, what's the best? You know, they don't want you to kill the people, believe it or not, but you know, sometimes you gotta, sometimes you just want to, sometimes you just have to, you know. 
but um <laughs> there's this guy by himself by this little barrel fire with a radio communication signal on top of that building which we will be blowing up and I might just stuff this man in the outhouse I'm not sure yet what do we got here what have we got here Oh boy, he's in for it now. We just lowered him over. Come on over. Come on over. Well, this guy's done for. What do you got for me, pal? Highly skilled soldier. Good. And there he goes. Sucks to be you. And, you know, we're not even going to put him in the outhouse. He doesn't deserve it. So... I'm gonna get on top of this building here. I know the screen is very, very, very dark, and I apologize. I do already have the brightness up to 60% higher than what it was, because it's just a naturally dark game at night. Probably would've been better to do it during the day, but it's extremely easy to get caught during the day on this game, especially in this area with all the sand in which it just reflects off everything. And you cannot get away with anything. Just how it works. So, I know you can't see anything. Turn up your brightness, I turn mine up. With a combination of both, we can just be buddies. And you can actually see some things, perhaps. So, we're gonna crawl our way. Or crouch walk. Crouch walk? Walk. Crouch. Our way across the map. And what just... I just blew up. at C4 over there. So they are distracted and they're looking over there because that's what they are doing. So that radio signal down there is gone. And we're sneaking around back to the area in which the two people that I'm trying to get are nearby. So we might actually get away with this. Are they nearby? I thought they were over in this area. It's hard to say at this point. Maybe they already walked all the way across the map in this area. I don't know. That's a choice. It's it's the possibility. It's the risk that I just may have to take at this point. So I'm gonna keep to the edges here. Stay out of sight. Stay in the shadows. And I'll set another bomb on this communications device, radio satellite thingamajig. And we're gonna blow that one up too. So if I do get caught, if they try calling for backup, it just does not work. And that's what we want. Because the last thing I want is more people to deal with, and they bring bigger weapons. So, they're not looking at me. It's decently far away, and we blew it up. Maybe we'll bring the two people that we want closer to us, as they are. A little bit. He's checking things out. It's a complete strategy game. That is how it is done. Strategy. Thus. Hmm? Yes? You gotta be careful. Like this guy, he wants trouble. And he just saw me, so can I get him? Dead. Can I? Okay, I got him. I think I got him. Oh, that was close. It was almost, if it was like a half a second more, he would have lured everybody around, regardless if I grabbed him or not. So, I'm glad I got him in time. I guess he saw me throwing magazines, which sucks. But now he hurts, now he's coming over. He's seeing his friend, which isn't good. So he can come on over here so we can be buddies in the corner. Buddies in the corner. Great. And that's that. They saw me. Did they? I think I got lucky. I think they didn't see me. Whoa. That's pretty good. So we're going to set a bomb on their power grid then. 
It said C4 on their power grid. And we just blew that up. So now their power is out. So they have no radio signals. And they have no power. And this is where I make my moves. And take care of everybody in the base. This is the part where we go guns blazing on every... Whoa. Whoa. Oh. What was that? That was not me. Whoa. That that was weird. I've never had that one before. Wow. I hope I didn't cause any seizures on the receiving end of this video. Wow, that was intense. Holy crap. Anyway, we're gonna slowly burn ourselves around and take care of these guys like I told. One by one, taking out this base. Haven't been spotted yet. We've came close. Though, due to our distractions, we have been keeping them away from us as well as we wanted to be, which is good. Throws more magazines. <sighs> well, he's on the radio. He's caught off the search yet. He's on the radio. Don't move, bro. Don't move, bro. Oh, now he can't move. Sorry, dog. Gotta want it. You can't just be sitting there on the radio, obviously seeing a guy walking up to you. What are you gonna do? You can't just keep talking to the radio, can you? If you're sitting there and no, I'm on the radio, and you see a uh, freaking the Kong saying, "What are you gonna do? Keep talking on the radio, huh? How are you gonna do? This is basically what what's going on here." It's basically what's going on here. They just need to know what is the higher priority. Which appears that they don't. Okay, so the gig's up. The gig's up. So they see us. So now we're going out guns blazing. All fire on the CP and their attack. All units come back positions. Good luck. Good luck getting reinforcements, pal. You ain't getting them. I'm just gonna keep throwing grenades at you until you learn your lesson. Hey, there goes one. Did we get his friend? I think we got his friend. I think we got his friend. I think we got his friend, if you had to ask me. I think. Nope. But we did now. Sometimes you just gotta finish him off. And sometimes you're still on the machine guns that you thought you got him off of. Dude's still on the machine gun. Why isn't he seeing me? Okay, he sees me now. Okay, so we're back to where we were the first time, and I'm almost dead again. Whoa. Take it easy. Okay, it's always between me and this guy. So I'm gonna cheat and use a grenade. And I won. Sometimes, you know, I have them, so why aren't I gonna use them? You tell me that. Am I glad I used it? Of course I did. Am I gonna try to shoot this guy all the way from across the map? Yes. Yes, I will. You still okay? I got him. Outpost captured. The lady says, "Did I actually capture the outpost?" Okay, so that means the two guys I was trying to get actually did not make it. Cause I don't remember Fultoning anybody, and I think I killed everybody. So I guess that happened. This is their uh, last of their comms equipment. And uh, yeah, so I just I I, I I didn't even come close to completing that mission. Mission. Because this place just gets so difficult sometimes, and you just can't even do anything. You just can't. You can't do anything. So you, all you can do is just kill everyone and loot the place. Come back the next day, and everyone's still gonna be here. Just that's how the game works. Am I proud of that? No. Did I want that to go differently? Of course I did. But you know, sometimes you don't always get what you want. Sometimes you just don't get what you want. And there goes more comms equipment. So really, I guess I'll just wrap it up there. I mean, we failed, we failed. So, you know, like it if you liked it. Comment if you have something to say if you want to rip on me for it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And this is Jack Jump Gaming. Mm -hmm. Till next time. Yeah, sure.